My name is Lukas Bonnenberg. I work at the University of Nottingham as a senior experimental officer at the Nottingham Geospatial Institute. We have been approached in 2012 to produce a 3D laser scanning of a stone just behind us. This is an 8, eight meters feature. So in order to scan it, we had to use a scaffolding, which because of the nature of the terrain around, we had to put at the back. Uh, we have scanned the stone, but we were missing a few bits from the front of the stone. We analyzed the data, we came with a number of conclusions how the stone was created, but we were interested in taking it forward. An idea which we had is to create a 3D model of the stone, a printout of the model of the stone for other people to understand what we're doing. We got a virtual model on a computer, we can work with this, but it's easier for other people to understand it once they see a 3D model. Uh, with this in mind, we come to a technology which didn't exist in 2012 when we scanned the stone. And this is UAV. Uh, this is why we're here today. This is why we're scanning today as well. Uh, with this technology in mind, we will create the scan of the stone and we'll be able to use this to create a 3D model, which we can then match to our original laser scan. My name is Frank Herb. I'm a local folklorist and historian. Uh, and we're here today at the Hemlock Stone to do this uh, survey where we're using the uh, latest technology. Uh, as you can see in the background, the, uh, the stone is ever present. Uh, it's formed of two million year old uh, sandstone or deposited here two million years ago. Uh, how the stone itself came into being is of dispute and there are uh, three possible theories. One, that it is a natural object, so it's a natural geological feature formed by uh, erosion and what is called differential erosion, where the top harder part, which contains biorites, has worn, at a, worn through at a different rate than the lower softer part. Um, the second and the widely accepted uh, theory is that it is the product of or the waste product of quarrying so obviously sand quarrying the third uh, hypothesis is that it is being deliberately quarried at an historic time or prehistoric time uh, if this proves to be the case then it would make it totally unique in the country if not the world